Imagine if you could snap your fingers and remod for any mode. Your guild just put out a bunch of new assignments for Territory Wars? Snap, and they're on your roster. Territory Battles rolls around, and you want to put your best foot forward on your teams, but you hate the remod hassle? Hate no more. Maybe you're falling behind in Crankor, and your guildmates are zerging it so fast that the phase is almost done by the time you've remodded. What if you could just equip an automatically built Crankor loadout ahead of time to get a bit of a competitive edge, and all it took was that snap? Well, folks, as of the time you started watching this video, I told Hot Utils to take 40 of my characters and start automatically remodding them with the full complexity that top guilds use for PvP. As of this point in time in the video, that task is already halfway done. Imp Trooper clocking? Out in front. Bounty Hunter ordering? Their contracts got paid. Bam Team clocking off a of quill? This is the way. Of course, that time can and will vary based on how crazy your targets get and the settings you choose, but you are not looking at a long-term project here. This bot moves quick. If you're burning out from spending too much time reorganizing your mods, think of this as freedom. If you don't have the time to dive into remodding or just feel intimidated by mods as a whole, think of this as an open door. To me, modding has always been the most interesting part of Galaxy of Heroes the place for theory crafting and creativity to get a chance to shine. And with this, not only can we have the tedious work done for us, it will do so in a fraction of the time. And it can even help us search for deeper optimized builds than we might have already been running. And before we continue, this video is not in any way sponsored. I haven't received anything for making it. It's not clickbait either. I think the bot's performance speaks for itself. I'm just excited because this means I can reclaim a huge chunk of my time back while still being just as in-depth as when I did this stuff by hand. So, without further ado, welcome to V2 of the Playground in Hot Utilities. These are very capable tools with a lot happening, so it can be a bit overwhelming when you open the new Playground for the first time. With this video and the two guides I'm releasing alongside this, we'll turn you into a pro automator in no time. To start off, let's break down the core concepts you're working with here, split into three parts. The ancestor to this feature was templates, which you might already be familiar with. This was the way you could communicate targets for your characters to the guild, as well as a way to check your mod compliance. If you've ever tried the 50 shards of cam command, that would also be a common example. Nothing new, but they're the stepping stone for where we're headed next, which is definitions. At its core, definitions are loosely the same as templates, just a collection of stat targets for characters to hit. The nuance comes from the fact that definitions contain a lot more controls that we can use to design with, which kick in once we send them to the second step. These definitions can also be shared around or edited, as up until this point, it's still just a set of targets and directions and has nothing to do with our personal mods yet. Which leads us to the second step, automation. This is where the playground takes the definitions we make or load and crunches the settings that we choose to deliver us the best build it can from the mods in your collection. It's got a variety of knobs and levers to tweak your remodding preferences before starting, but all in all, automation is pretty hands off. The most involved you'll get is tweaking definition settings if you're not happy with the results of an automate. Once you've got an automate you like, you can export the definition with whatever name, category, and description you prefer, share it to any friends or guildmates you feel like, and edit it whatever you so choose. For those automation results you like, the usual playground features still apply. You're able to make any changes to the automated results that you see fit. Don't worry, the bot won't take it personally. Once you've got a mod build that you're happy with, all you have to do is save those results as a loadout and push it in game. You're good to go, and you'll have that loadout to pull back up anytime you want in the future. If you feel like making small changes, just go back to your loadout, hit the edit button, and the definition settings will be right there waiting for you. Make the tweaks you want, and repeat the process. Simple as that. There are two guide videos doing a more in-depth walkthrough of the workflow I've been using for definitions. You can find them down in the description for this video. And last but not least, in the next day or two, I'll be coming out with a interview with Strange, the developer who is responsible for this entire thing happening. 
I'm a, just the guy who should have bladed development and pushed the buttons and said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if a hundred times? And he somehow managed to not lose his mind despite all of that. A huge thanks to him for this opportunity. It's been, <laughs> I got to do LSTV streams already with, with mod loadouts on. It was fantastic. I, I'm so happy about all this. Yeah, fingers crossed. We'll see how this beta launch goes and we're just going to keep those loadouts rolling out, right? It's, uh... Any loadout we achieve now is just remod time saved in the future. What more could you ask for? Thanks for watching.